So let me tell you a story. When I was a wee little lad, I used to rummage through my dad's old pet stuff, and I'd find CDs for drivers, old photos, old software. But one time I stumbled upon this disc, which was a Windows disc. But it wasn't an operating system I'd heard of, like Windows 98 or XP. In fact, I wasn't even sure if it was some obscure software or an operating system. And I'd forgotten all about it, until one day randomly I came across this image, and that's it! That was the disc I found all those years ago. But I still don't know what it is. So I set out to find out what this mystery OS was from all those years ago, and try and use it today. So let's start off with installing Windows NT. Um, we are gonna use VMware. We want to start off with Windows NT 3.1. I hope VMware recognizes it. F yeah. F how to install Windows NT. We're running into some complex issues here, yeah? Okay, so after doing some research, admittedly I should have done it beforehand. Shut up, yeah. We gotta use floppies because this is 1993 and you can't install operating systems off of CDs. I don't even think this is officially supported. Okay, here goes nothing. That worked! Yes, that worked. Okay, C. Oh, format to NTFS. If that makes sense, NT and then NT file system. New technology file system. Wow. Hang your pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, if I protect Mr. Magic Molly Mall. But am I gonna have to go through like 22 discs? Jesus. <laughs> You're gonna make me go through all 22 fucking discs, bruv. Dublin, Edinburgh, London. Yeah, that's exactly where I am. So as you can see, it looks exactly like Windows 3.1. It's an ugly wallpaper. Can I change the wallpaper? I can't even right click on the desktop. That's great. Introducing Windows. Okay, that is so 90s. That is like if you had to put 90s in an image, that would be that. This is actually so fucking boring, man. Where's the games? I'm kind of bored. I didn't expect this to be this. I don't know what I expected, but I certainly didn't expect like just Windows 3.1. Hi, I'm Makir Tech, and welcome to the Generic Computer Show. Today we're going to talk about Microsoft's brand new technology, Windows New Technology, or Windows NT. So the story goes back to the 80s, where Microsoft had partnered with IBM to create a brand new OS, OS 2. I'd say they had a pretty good naming department. <laughs> Now, there was a group within Microsoft that was focused on creating a more wide-reaching version of this OS 2 called NT. However, with the rapid success of Windows, Microsoft dropped IBM like a lead turd and decided to go on its own. Windows NT was built in a way where it could run on multiple different processors, but it wasn't as efficient as MS-DOS. As a result, these system requirements were far higher, requiring an almost astronomical 12 megabytes of RAM. Can you imagine? <laughs> So the DOS-based Windows 95 was aimed at the masses, while the more capable but less efficient Windows NT was aimed at professionals and enterprises. Now it's time to install the next Windows um, NT, which I'm not sure which one it is. We're figuring things out as we go, guys, cause I don't know what I'm doing. All right, it's Windows NT 4.0. If I can just get a VM for VMware, that is swell, brother. Okay, I don't know why it's taking so long to download, but I copied it. Uh huh, honey. Ah! Whoa. Bro, that was a brand new sound. What, what the heck? Although it looks exactly like Windows 95. Maybe this doesn't have DirectX, so we can't even play games on it. Well, I guess this is like for mostly office freaks, so man's gonna be playing video games on company time. I don't think so. I guess that's why my dad had a copy of it. He hates video games. Ooh, Opera. Google.com. So from like a very, just a technical perspective, this is very much similar to like Windows 11 than Windows 95 was. It looks exactly like Windows 95. There's a shutdown sound. That's pretty cool. Late Night with Johnny Tribbiani will be right back.
and gentlemen, I know you all have been waiting for this for a very long time. I know I have. Please welcome Windows! It's great to have you on the show, man. It's great to be here. So a few months ago you came here, and you said that Windows 98 would be the last DOS-based Windows. But then there was Windows 98 Second Edition. So, what's going on, like? <laughs> so, here's the thing. We lied. And I'm gonna lie again, Windows 98 Second Edition is not our last DOS product either. We're gonna milk DOS for another release called Windows ME. But why are you going back on your promises? Um, we like money. <laughs> so correct me if I'm wrong here, so, 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 um, uh, MS-DOS, which is what Windows 95, 98, and ME are based on, is too outdated and archaic, so you want to move to Windows NT. That's right. So, um, when are you gonna move from DOS to NT? Okay, I know this is getting complicated, but let me just be honest. We're gonna do another Windows NT named release, not called Windows NT 5.0, but Windows 2000. But for our NT based operating system for the general public, you're gonna have to wait until Windows XP in 2001. That'll be our NT OS for the future. So why release Windows ME in 2000 and Windows 2000 in 2000 when you're clearly releasing a superior product in 2001? You ask a lot of hard questions, Johnny. Don't forget who's paying the bills. <laughs> Alright then, now it's time to install Windows NP. Now it's time to install Windows NT 5.0, which is just Windows 2000. <sighs> oh my god. I need to get some sleep. I have not used Windows 2000 in a couple of decades. Did I actually already install Windows 2000? Because I'm gonna be. Okay, I didn't. So, I'm not a complete dummy. I'm just a little bit of a dummy. New virtual machine, typical, typical. Is it gonna do the setup by itself as well? Cause that would be very nice. It would be very nice if I didn't have to do anything in life. Have you ever popped champagne on a plane while getting some brain whipped that actually set up? Okay, didn't hang, did it? Cause I'm gonna be big mad. It's just a lot of waiting around. Bravo. Uh, forgot about this part. We're gonna have to cut the recording for this because I uh, officially bought Windows 2000. Graceful. Amazing. Gorgeous. What the heck? The startup song played, but there's no fing. Oh my god, dude. Let's see if we can get some wallpapers, yeah? It's like a resolution of 2x2 two two pixels, bro. What the hell? Is uh, Bliss gonna be here? Oh, Windows 2000. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. So there's Windows NT 3.1. Then there's Windows NT 4.0. Then there's Windows NT 5.0, which was renamed to Windows 2000. And then there was just Windows XP. Although some of these icons are starting to look a lot like Windows XP. So what I was going to show is, uh, so Windows 2000 was NT 5.0. It was renamed to Windows 2000. And then Windows XP is NT 5.1. And then Vista is 6.0. And then Windows 7 is, I guess, 7. Okay, so if you're confused, it's not your fault. This is confusing. So let me clear the air. Microsoft had a line of operating systems called Windows NT whilst they had their regular DOS-based windows like Windows 3.1, Windows 95, and so on. So Windows NT 3.1 is an operating system that looks exactly like Windows 3.1 on the surface, but it is based on the Windows NT kernel, while the other is based on DOS. Same goes for Windows 95 and Windows NT 4.0, which was the disk, by the way, that I found all those years ago, and Windows ME and Windows 2000. But after 2000, Microsoft retired the DOS base entirely and moved everything to NT, but they didn't keep calling the operating systems NT. They called it XP and Vista and 7 for some reason. But the lineage comes from this line of Windows NT operating systems, not Windows 95, 98. 